Hello, um, today I'm going to interview Maisie and so the first part of these 20 million minutes will be about trying to get Maisie on here because I am taking always so much time to, oh there's Maisie, so I'm going to invite Maisie. Coming, Maisie. Do you see the invitation? Yes. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. I do. Yes, I do. Hey. All right. Great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna decrease my sound on Zoom and record it there. All right. How are you doing? Doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Yeah. So um, let's talk about you a little bit. When did you start acting? Oh gosh, I started acting when I was around nine years old. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, and I look young for my my age. I'm in my uh, early twenties. Yeah. I've been doing so. Yeah, I've been doing this since I was about nine or ten. Wow. Okay. And how how did you start? Did you just start at school, or did you have a little theater company you joined? A uh, theater company. Um, mm. I was curious about acting, and I asked my mom to put me in the to the kids community theater. Great. Uh, I'm very happy about this. My first production ever was Midsummer Night's Dream mm. and I got, got to play Puck, oh. which is absolutely uh, yeah. amazing. Yeah. I love I loved doing that. Yeah. Um yeah, and so I did that for a few years. Uh, and and then, how did that feel to act when you were now a nine? How how free were you back oh, then? Oh so very. Yeah. Very. Yeah. And yeah, when I was little I I loved it so much. I poured so much time into it. And it's like, I, I was the first to be memorized so that I was able to play with my mm -hmm. lines. Mm -hmm. And Puck was such a playful, yeah. mischievous yeah. character. Definitely, uh, definitely. I could just be as free as I wanted, which was just so, so, so mm -hmm. exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, then you finished school and did you study acting in a traditional way or what happened? Yes and no. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to college for it. I didn't take any of the acting classes in high school, but from a very early age, I knew that I wanted to do this mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of like act, different acting classes, yeah. different workshops, um, went to a bunch of uh, different acting schools. Mm -hmm. uh, because, and bought a lot of books, read a lot of books mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. So kind of like a patchwork. Yeah. And so how, how was that as you were free when you were nine and then you started to study with all of the teachers and the books and et cetera? Did, you, did your acting start shifting? Did it become different? It, it did. Unfortunately, the first acting school that I went to was not nurturing at all. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time that I ever encountered bullying. <coughs> and the first time I ever became self-conscious about my excitement mm -hmm. for acting. So that, mm -hmm. I, I've felt the reverberations of that for a long, mm -hmm. long time. I yeah, it was really, really tough. Mm -hmm. uh, because there was, I was made fun of for smiling. It was the weirdest thing. Um, strange, yeah. yeah. I, and then I found some better schools that were more focused on true acting and being free. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there, there was a lot of, from there becoming more self-conscious. Yeah. And I very much became my own director. Mm -hmm. It's like, I want it because I was doing a lot of film stuff pretty early on, like self tapes because of, you know, I grew up around yeah. Chicago for opportunities. You self taped yeah. for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so I watched myself and I would do so many takes. I would, cause I wanted it. Mm -hmm. It was because I cared, but it's like, I wanted it to be so good. And mm -hmm. so that was in my yeah. head, even while yes. I was mm -hmm. acting. Yeah. 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 So obviously you were not completely present. Yeah, I get that. So, um, so is that why you joined the reset? What what made you actually do something different and reset yourself? Yeah, I wanted to be a part of this program because it sounded so 
different. And I knew because I started from such a young age, I have, mm -hmm. it's like I, I was blessed with knowing what being aligned with your instinct yeah. is like. Yeah. And I wanted to get back to me. And I wanted it to be joyous for me because like that wears on you being so self-conscious, mm -hmm. trying to please everybody else. Mm -hmm. I, I was losing my love for something that I knew mm -hmm. was like, this is my thing. Why you. doesn't it, why doesn't it yeah. make me happy anymore? Yeah. yeah. So that's really why I wanted to be a part of this program okay. because I needed to get back to that. To you. Yeah. 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 And so how, how was it? And you're resetting for the second time now. So how was it or how is it to go to put yourself through that? It, as much as I want to say so much about it, <laughs> starting it, putting it into words is so yeah. hard because yeah. it hits something so, so deep. And it's mm. not like, it's not a class that's supposed to like, oh, make you feel good about yourself, yada, yada, yeah. yada. You did this one thing well, so pat on the back, mm -hmm. applause. Mm -hmm. It's, it made me, it makes me feel so much more in touch with myself. Mm -hmm. And how I just, how I go walk through my life, mm -hmm. it feels so much different afterwards. And especially, being able to do it a second time, I feel like I'm going so much deeper and realizing so much more mm -hmm. and understanding the reasons for like the exercises mm -hmm. that we do and the practices yeah. that we do mm -hmm. and really getting back to why I sometimes choose to be self-conscious mm -hmm. versus not mm -hmm. when not being self-conscious is so much more fulfilling. Why do I mm -hmm. choose yeah. the other? Uh, yeah, it's just, it's eye-opening. And mm. I am happy isn't necessarily the world, even, the word, even though I am happy. It's just a fulfillment. It's like you're, yeah. you feel like you're kind of overflowing yeah. and you yeah. have all of the energy to do all of the things. Yeah. yeah, totally. I get it. I get it. Because you get your life back. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah if you're functioning from a place that is not your own authority, if you're functioning under conditioning, under the rules that other people made for you about how you need to behave, how you need to act, what is right about a scene, how do you approach a scene, the right way, the good way? Well, you're not, you're not coming from your own engine. You're coming, you're, you're coming from an external authority. So there's no inside out. It's more like, Oh, let me try to fit their mold. And therefore you don't, yeah, there's no fulfillment. You're not fulfilled with yourself. You're trying to fit their mm -hmm. boxes, which is such a different ball game. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, yeah, and go for it. Waiting to ask, like I, I've, something that I ha, has, I it's something that I know has held me back in things, and I realize it more and more, especially doing the reset again, is waiting for permission to be yourself <laughs> and to yeah. like act how you want yeah. to it's it was one of those things where i would do self tapes i was doing way less takes than i started to when i was younger like you do mm -hmm. five takes try maybe some different yeah. ways and then you, you know what i'm gonna do one wild and just throw it to the wind and yeah. i would say yeah. that to who like my, my reader and my, my mom yeah. my reader mm -hmm. uh and that would be like oh wow it's yeah. like why don't I just give myself, why am I yeah. not giving myself that permission? Yeah. Because I have the authority to give myself yeah. permission you're, you're and nobody yours. else. Yeah. 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 It's one of those things yeah. where it's, what is this wall? I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. I, I'm waiting for someone else to yeah. tell me that I, Maisie Murloc, yeah. am okay. Yeah. Which doesn't make no. any sense. No, no, no. Great. Would would that be would that be the biggest um, breakthrough or outcome for you to just be able to be unapologetically yourself, not trying to please? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To just be able to show up. Yeah. And to not be constantly 
thinking, okay, how am I being perceived? Mm -hmm. Okay. Am I doing this exercise right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that has been the most meaningful win for me Mm -hmm. is to be able to, to do things unapologetically without needing to even say anything or permission Mm -hmm. or warning anyone else. It's just me being able to step on my own two feet in any direction that I know is right for myself. For you. Yeah. 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 That's that's all there is. Anything (laughs) else is going to be delusional and yes. Yeah. If it's not right for you, who is, who is it right for if you're the Mm -hmm. artist? Yeah. Great. Great. Is there anything you want to add? I'm just remembering that I should have mentioned this in the beginning, but we're doing like a post strike pre Thanksgiving um, sale. If anyone is interested in this work or has been looking at at it for a long time, has been considering resetting. um, Yeah, we're doing a sale so you can DM us and we can send you a link with the, with the, I think we're doing 35% discount. So yeah, it's the most moment if you've been thinking about it um was what yeah what did you want to add anything maybe yeah um i feel that another one of my wins is that i am my own authority and in the way that i am capable of so much more than I'm allowing myself to be capable mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. because I feel that in, in searching for like permission and stuff and approval it's it come I realize it, it, it you know coming from a place of what I have isn't enough or isn't right it's mm-hmm. off so I've I've recognized that I am cutting myself short and they're great exercises that we do in, in the program to mm-hmm. switch this around yeah, into a place true. of power instead of, yeah. I can't yeah. do anything. Yeah. So n- knowing that I have complete power over the steps that I take yeah. uh, and that I can do more of what I choose to do. And it's like, I'm not going to, well, I'm not smart enough for this. Mm-hmm. No, I'm mm. not, I'm not, I'm not strong mm. enough for this. I don't have the energy mm. for this. It's like, mm-hmm. if you just, just do it wherever you're at, that yeah. is so much more powerful and you, you expand your capacity that yeah. way yeah. and you yeah. realize mm-hmm. how much more you're able to do. Mm-hmm. And just another way that I was unknowingly selling myself short. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. It's, coming back home into your truth gives you all the power that there is to be had (laughs) it's always going to be from inside yeah yeah from your being and your powerful doesn't have to look like a superhero in a cape it no or confidence or being sure of yourself being strong none of it your power is in your truth Mm -hmm. as an artist it's in being broken and being messy and being sad and being wherever you're at yeah Mm -hmm. great yeah yeah well thank you so much for sharing yourself so vulnerably and i'm sure people will relate to your experience there's many you know young actors who join and who Mm -hmm. have a similar experience of being so free when they were preschooled with Um, you know, acting teachers, and then they go to acting school, and suddenly it's not fun anymore. So I'm sure it will be helpful. Mm -hmm. And then again, a reminder that anyone who's been interested, we're doing post strike pre Thanksgiving sale. So let us know, send us a comment, tell us you want the link, and we'll send you the link for the current discount of 35%. All right. Thank you, Maisie. Thank you, Joe. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Ciao. Ciao.